The Timex Metropolitan Plus, AKA the bad boy. Welcome to my third video of this series um, as to why I got rid of the Sony Smartwatch 3, the Withings Activity Pop, and why I got the Timex Metropolitan Plus. Third video, and it's gonna be about the Timex. The Timex Metropolitan Plus is an activity tracker um, slash analog watch. That's all it is. It's an analog watch. It's a regular watch you would expect from Timex with activity tracking inside of it. Now, the only thing that this watch does next to telling you the time is counting your steps. That's basically it. It doesn't do anything else but tell you the time as a regular watch does um, and count your steps. But those two things that it does, it does great. The pedometer is spot on. Um, the watch itself is of course of high quality. Um, it is a Timex watch, so it is high quality um, material. I will show you what it looks like. Now, this band doesn't actually come with it. Um, I bought this one separately, but when you do get this watch, you will probably get it in a gift box that will also get you um, with these bands, um, it's a rubber black band and a um, fabric orange band. But the watch, um, all it does is tell you the time like a regular watch. Basically, you should, you should only buy this watch when you just want to watch um, and you want to act, add some activity tracking to it. I basically bought this watch after the Withings and the Sony smartwatch watches. Um, with the idea of I'm just gonna get a regular watch if the activity tracking doesn't work I'll have a regular watch No hard feelings. I'm just gonna buy it for the watch itself and if the activity tracking works great So I, I've got this watch for two three months now. I think and It's just awesome. It looks great. It looks cool. It connects to um, your phone through Bluetooth It has an app which tells you how many steps you've done how many calories you've burned with that many steps um, Per day and that's basically all it does you can turn off Bluetooth on your watch and you can also set it to counting uh, Showing the steps or the distance. Let me show you What that looks like? So you've got this button right here, which swaps the um, setting that is up here. And right now it's on steps. I can set it to distance. So now it'll show the distance. You can also set it to pair mode, which is that one. Now you can um, sync it to your phone and you can also turn the whole thing off, which I'm not gonna do right now. So at the bottom it shows you um, the percentage uh, how much you've actually uh, walked or ran um, and that's all there is to it um, There is a neat feature though. I Hope you can see it. Um, it has indie glow So when you're in the dark it will do this when you press the crown you can't see it can you it's too light So that's basically all there is to it. Um, it's a great watch um, that looks awesome uh, that tells you the time and it gives you accurate information on your activity as in your steps and your calorie count One thing it has crystal glass that slowly is starting to get dense Even though I don't really do anything with it I'll show you those little dots you see on the on the um, glass those are dense, and I don't know what kind of dents they are, but it's not, I'm not using it very, very roughly. I mean, that's not good. So I will get a polisher for it, as that really is not looking great. Apparently that is the problem with um, just regular glass watches. So you will have that probably. Other than that, the quality is great, uh, apart from the glass, um, which is a bit Flimsy, that's the word. Um, so that kind of concludes this series, mini series of why I got rid of the Sony Smartwatch 3, which is this video, um, why I got rid of the uh, Withings watch, but also why I got it. Let's not forget that. And this video on why I got the Timex Metropolitan Plus and why I'm really happy with it. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Um, hope to see you next time. Marscamp out.